Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Wait, whack. You're smart. So I'm gonna ask you the question directly. We, we know the feds. The feds will cross collateralize to get the con not content to get the evidence they need. Do you think they they tap brick on the shoulder? Based on what they had on him to probably get some info. I'm gonna tell you why I'm saying that. He said what he said in February. Then he turned around and said they told him they've been on him since March. Right out there. Hey, right, hey, right. hey, hey, we gonna have 1090 look up how many people in Los Angeles get DA rejects from guns a year. That's what we go no, do because no, everybody no, no. thinks that, that like we go we go we go look that up. That is a okay. common practice. If they don't have the right, like if they don't have you all the way to the T, because out here the way that you can fight a gun that wasn't in my possession, there's no reason of that DA picking up right post COVID picking up a gun case where they don't have enough evidence to fully have me go take the deal and have you went to court them. already nigga. and they was a da reject they did not pick up the case right okay but you said you okay, went to court. So you got arrested, you. check it man hey man listen man make sure you like subscribe to the channel man um huh. you guys just heard it man um brick baby uh saying hey man i didn't snitch um uh, what is the what is the formula going on here? DJ Academic, WAG 100. This is a call that I've been seeing resurface, man. I had to get OG on here to 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 talk, tell me what is going on with this whole situation far as uh, the gun rules in LA, the gun rules in on the West Coast in California. And I got my man here. OG is in the building. What's going on, OG? What's up? What's up with it? Boss Talk 101. Man, I just, I, I, I listened to what you was talking about. Yeah. With this, de with this detective whack. And I gave this dude academics a lot more credit, but it seems like he got a room temperature IQ to say that whack 100 was smart. Let me tell you about, I, I usually don't get into crip business, that LA business, but the man said he went to Compton court. Under the, under the laws of California, Possession of felon in possession of a gun is suitable. Now, you can get a DA reject because there are elements to having this, and it's called fruit of a poisonous tree, illegal search and seizure. Okay. Just because you're in a house and the gun does not belong to you and the house is in somebody's name, and if the gun or the weapon doesn't have your fingerprints on it, it becomes a DA reject. Detective Wack ought to know that. You know, so in Compton Court, anyway, with an AK-47, that's a fe that's a federal charge. Mm. And with the federal charge, all you have to do is be in possession of the gun and be a known gang member. And it's called Operation Safe Streets. And that's a federal conviction. But if they don't have any element that proved that the gun actually belonged to you, they're not processing the case. So this is what the man is saying, that yeah, I went to court and WAC 100 is trying to be a Charleston White and trying to talk over the man. Detective, you are, are like Fanny Willis. You're trying to get RICO charges when you, ain't nobody did nothing. So wow. these student academics must be really hurting to have this idiot keep talking about things and tapping and would they tap him on the shoulder ask him to show you some pictures of somebody that been tapped on the shoulder he's going to get tapped on the shoulder brick baby was right i don't know that man from a can of paint okay but in the elements of the law in california if the gun was not in his personal possession he did not have his fingerprints on the gun or no bullets in the gun it's an automatic da reject Wow. So and you, you, it you don't take a, a rocket scientist. To, they are just trying to get views and likes. And the people that follow this idiot, uh, DJ Academics, his 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 customer front must be going down that he have to get uh, Yosemite Sam to give all these erroneous statements. Wow. So you you agree that uh, this this gun situation w with the way Brick Baby is explaining it, it seems to be connecting the dots the way that it usually goes down when you've seen these cases 
transpire. People are getting guns kicked out right now every day because if the gun, if if it's if me and you riding in a car and they find a gun in the car and I don't take the gun, it's yours because the car belonged to you. Wow. I don't care if my fingerprints are not on the gun. If they take both of us to jail, it's either going to be a deer reject or it's going to be your gun because it's your car. Wow. I, I get it, man. Like I said, I, it's funny how this, this stuff keeps coming out, man. As you know, Lil Dirk, basically the case we talked about the other day uh, when it first jumped off. And uh, now they're trying to they trying to pretty much they trying to associate Brick Baby with this. And again, uh, Wag 100 is saying he totally agreed that Big Brick Baby was a part of it. But Brick Baby said he was in Atlanta. Let's listen in on the call that Brick Baby made in to academics. Uh, a few days ago, and I, I, you know, try to link it in the in the bio. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. All right. So let's talk. Chat. We have Brick Baby here. So remember, we went over this whole indictment. Um, from what we came up with, we came up with that there's a person named co-conspirator four that seems to be a local LA dude. Seems to be a guy who, at least the feds even say, this is a longtime affiliate of OTF, which means he's not an OTF, but he's a longtime affiliate. We think he's local because he's the one that gets the drop, and then everybody comes to LA. Now, people. Okay, academics. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Let me just, let me well, just go set ahead, it up. Go ahead, get off, yeah. get off, get off. Go so, ahead. So, so people oh, then oh. start saying it's, it's Brick Baby. Now, I was, I didn't really know too much about like some of this. And even when you, you, you made that comment, we'll get to that. I didn't, like, I, I know fans say a lot of stuff. Like, there was a time fans were saying, oh, yeah, no, you, you don't. Because I did an interview with Dirk, and he literally said you can't say it no more. But I'm going to be honest with you. Wack 100, Loose Cannon, and 600 gave a compelling argument to basically said it was you who's co-conspirator for and that you were working undercover because you had another case. Wow. So here we go. Wag 100 uh, and, and a couple of more friends saying 600 and a couple more guys are saying that, uh, you know, he was working with them people and he pretty much uh, like gave the drop. But I'm trying to understand, OG, and maybe you can help me with this is like if he working with them, would he give a drop that could get somebody deleted, eliminated off this earth? I don't know if, if the people would even be, uh, you know, participating in in, in uh getting somebody First deleted all, let me say this all three names that dj academic made yeah two of them right now to me ain't credible worth the hell you dig what i'm saying okay they allowed him to say anything i mean neither one of them took no fade with big huge the, the 600 i don't know him from a can of paint but he's supposed to be a 60 crypt that don't nobody deal with and he mad at Brick Baby because Brick Baby fucks with And I don't get into L.A. politics. I got enough problems in Compton. Okay. But just like anything else, uh, Yosemite Sam, he can't talk about Compton politics or what goes on in a Compton court because he's never been to Compton. He ain't been in no court. So I don't know where DJ Academics is from, the moon, or where he act like he's some I from the, I think from the East Coast. Yeah, so he on other, a whole nother time limit. So whoever uh, they say confidential informant four is, it may be whack one hundred. <laughs> he get all these damn. Wait a minute, OG. You say it may be it may be whack one hundred. Man, it, 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 it call him at six o'clock in the morning. Everybody <laughs> know he, his number on speed dial, so I know he go check in with the fans every month to get de uh, uh They call it debriefing, right? Yeah. So he checks in every month to MDCLA to get debriefed. So uh, it, 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 it num uh, number where he was, uh, uh, C uh, what is CI2, back in 2016. So he may be confidential informant number four on this one. So I, I don't know, man. DJ Academics, you better get your life straight. <laughs> he might not. All, okay. Well, I, like I said, I, oddly enough, like I said, um, and I watch DJ Academic. I'm actually a, a fan of the show because of the way that he always consistently putting out uh, information and breaking down different cases when they go down. But right now, the breaking down different cases thing, you got me in a gray area only because of what you're telling me. So at the end of the day, man, I want you guys to get in the comments. Let me know, man. Brick Baby's being called out by WAG 100. But OG Pyru, 
uh, Ayatollah Marv is saying, hey, man, you know, you might ought to watch who you getting, who DJ Academic is getting his resources from. Let us he know in the comments. Watch, he, better, <laughs> he, he better watch who Jack is Already, man. Let us know in the comments what you think, man. What you do? You do you agree with OG? Uh, is this thing like I, I I heard the breakdown? OG broke it down smooth. Let us know what you think about the breakdown of what OG showed us in in this particular setting on that gun case as well, and just on that whole situation of, of how it can turn out. I, it sounds real good and clear to me, man. Let us know, Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.